Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Moi, je vais super. Contracted articles are very important when forming basic sentences. But in order to understand how these contracted articles are formed, you need to know the very base. This is a really, really important topic. So please ensure that you watch the rest of this video carefully and observe how we are using contracted articles. Contracted articles are formed with the help of two prepositions, the which means of or from, and a which can mean to, at, for, or even in. Yeah, quite a lot of meanings. But there is no need to fret over it right now. As you observe and see more sentences and examples, it won't be difficult at all. We will first understand how these prepositions de and a are used and then we will move on to see how we use them to make contracted articles. Let us see the preposition de first. Now, de has quite a few usages in the French language. Firstly, it is used to talk about one's origin. For example, I belong to Delhi or I come from Delhi would be Je viens de Delhi. So basically, you would use this with any country or city that is a proper noun. Imagine if someone belongs to London. He or she would say Je viens de Londres. I come from London or I belong to London. Now, when it comes to countries, you must always use de with feminine countries and de apostrophe with countries that start with a vowel. But please note that when talking about masculine countries that are not starting with a vowel, you will not use de. We'll get to this part very shortly. For now, you must know that with feminine countries and with countries that start with a vowel, you can always use de. I can even ask someone of their origin. Vous venez d'où? Where do you come from? Now, another usage of the is when talking about where you are coming from at that very moment. For example, in the morning I was in Greater Kailash and I am coming from there right now. So I would say, je viens de Greater Kailash. If I wish to ask a friend, are you coming from Lajpat Nagar? I would say, tu viens de Lajpat Nagar? De can also be used if you want to say that you are leaving from somewhere. Nicola part de Rome. Nicola leaves from Rome. Here, par actually comes from the verb partir, which means to leave from or to leave for. Here, it is used as to leave from. Now, coming to the next usage of de. It can also be used to express possession or belonging of an object or a person. Imagine the pens I have belong to Neha. I would say, Ce sont les stylos de Neha. Ce sont les stylos de Neha. Or, I wish to tell that this is the father of my friend. I would say, C'est le père de mon ami. C'est le père de mon ami. See, we are using de as of in these examples. Now, another example where the is used as of is when you are talking about someone or something. For example, je parle de Rima. I speak about Rima. See, it's that easy, isn't it? Now, let's quickly recollect once. First, we use de as from in the following cases when talking about one's origin while telling where you are coming from at that very moment, while telling that you are leaving from somewhere. Second, we use de as of in the following cases. When expressing belonging or possession of an object or a person, and when talking about someone. Great, now you have understood de very, very well. Let's move on to a, which means to, at, for, in. A is used to express location like where you are going, where you are at the moment and much more. Let's see how. It can be used to simply say, I live in Delhi. J'habite à Delhi. Then I can say, je vais à Paris. 
to say I'm going to Paris or I go to Paris. Similarly, if I would like to say that someone is leaving for some particular place, I would say, for example, Nicola par a Rome. Nicola leaves for Rome. See, here the verb partir is used as to leave for. Please remember that partir can be used when talking about leaving from a location and leaving for a location. Then, if you want to say that you are at a certain location, you can say, Je suis à Lajpat Nagar. I am at Lajpat Nagar. It is used to tell about an activity happening at a certain time. Je mange à 14 heures. I eat at 2 p.m. Now, there are a few other usages of the preposition as well. Like, je parle à Paul. I speak to Paul. I talk to my friend. Je parle à mon ami. Or, je téléphone à Frédéric. I telephone to Frédéric. Cécile demande pardon à Léo. Cécile apologize to Léo. There may be a lot of other usages of this preposition, but let's take it step by step, alright? So, let's quickly recap. We use A in the following cases. When talking about a location, as to, we would use it while saying, Je vais à Paris. As for, we would use it while saying, Je pars à Paris. Then, as at, we would use it while saying, Je suis à Lajpat Nagar. As in, we could use it while saying, J'habite à Delhi. And then we use a, when we want to tell the time of an activity done. Like in, je mange à 14 heures. And a also has other usages like, je donne le stylo à Jacob. There can be many more sentences like these. So, I hope that by now you have understood the prepositions do and are very well. These prepositions will be used to make contracted articles. In the next video, we'll see how. But before that, let's take a very small quiz to see how much you have learned from this video. Fill in the blank with the correct preposition. Answer in the comment section below. One lucky winner would receive an intern Shala Trainings merchandise. Hope you enjoyed learning about Preposition de et A. This video is a part of Internshala Training's French language program. And to learn one of the world's most popular languages, visit the link in the description. To learn exciting new concepts and skills on the go, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red bell icon and stay tuned for more videos.